Welcome back to another episode of Warren Cali. In this episode, I'm going to talk about the tragic death of Latasha Harlan. Latasha Harlan was born on January 1st, 1976 in East San Louis, Illinois, to parents Crystal and Sylvester. Latasha had one younger brother, Vester, and one younger sister, Christina. Their family moved from Illinois to South Central LA in 1981. Family settled near 89th Street and Broadway just a few blocks from where Latasha would later lose her life around 10 years later. Latasha's early years of life was unstable, with her dad being abusive to her mom. Often Latasha and her siblings would see everything, and by 1983, her parents would be divorced. Her father would move away, leaving Latasha and her siblings to live in a one-parent home with her single mother. In 1985, unfortunately, Latasha's mom was fatally shot outside a club by her father's current girlfriend, causing Latasha and her siblings to move with her grandma. Latasha had to step up early playing a big role in her sibling's life. With no parent, she had to grow up fast and mature as a young woman. Latasha later went to high school at Westchester High School and had dreams of becoming a lawyer. Latasha loved playing basketball and grew up playing basketball at Manchester Park, now known as Elgin Sutton. This area is an active gang area and ran by the Hoovers. But Latasha had a lot of love in the community and would be often playing basketball with a lot of people in the area, especially the OG Hoovers at the park. In March of 1991, L.A. was going through a lot of controversy and social issues in the communities, with Rodney King just taking a severe beating by the police, which was captured on tape, causing an uproar in the urban communities. Just a few weeks later, on March 16th, Latasha's grandma wanted one of her grandkids to go get her some orange juice from the store, which none of them wanted to go, but Latasha ended up being the one to go to the store for her grandma. Latasha would end up going to Empire Liquor, which was owned by the Du family. They were Korean being one of the several Korean owners in the urban community. Soon Jun Du's husband, Billy, and her son usually staffed the store, but this day, she was the only one working at the store. Around 10 a.m., March 16th, Latasha entered the store and walked to the back of the store to the freezer to grab some orange juice. The orange juice cost at $1.79. Latasha put the orange juice in her pocket of her backpack and walked to the front counter of the store with $2 in her hand. As Latasha approached the counter, Soon accused Latasha of stealing and lunged at her. She tried to grab her backpack and Latasha pushed her off. She then grabbed Latasha by her sweater. This led to Latasha defending herself to get Soon off of her. Latasha then threw the orange juice back on the counter and proceeded to walk away. Soon then emerged with her weapon and fired a shot at Latasha, striking her in the head, leading to Latasha falling instantly, taking her life. She died with $2 in her hand still. It was said Soon was known for pulling out her weapon on people she thought was stealing. Many people in African American communities who owned businesses were different races, and many liquor stores were owned by people of Asian descent. Over the years, it has grown tension between African Americans and the Asian store owners, who often had some bad altercations with a few people, leading to a lot of business owners stereotyping the African American race and believing some were going to cause trouble. The African American perspective was the store owners were racist and harassing them just because they were black. Movies like Men's Society would later depict this relationship. But in this situation, Latasha was an innocent young lady who tragically lost her life over a damn bottle of dollar orange shoes. Tragic situation made things worse on both ends, causing a lot of physical altercations and verbal, and a lot of protests. Soon claimed self-defense, saying Latasha's intent was to steal, and she was only defending herself and her business, which everything was on tape and caught everything start to finish. And this wasn't no self-defense. She shot Latasha when she wasn't even a threat to her. The jury found Soon guilty of voluntary manslaughter which carried a maximum prison sentence of 16 years. The jury recommended the maximum sentence for Soon, but the judge, Joyce Carlin, overruled the recommendation. Carlin sentenced Soon to five years probation, 400 hours of community service, and only a $500 fine, so basically let her walk free for taking Latasha's life. Judge Carlin's reason for doing this was saying she wasn't a threat to anyone. This made race relations way worse, and several months later, the police who were later charged with the Rodney King beating were acquitted. These two events happening, these two events will help lead up to what we know as the LA riots of 92. This led to over 3,000 buildings being destroyed, and it was said that many were Korean stores, and one of the stores were Empire Liquor. It was burned to the ground and never opened back up. Latasha's family was awarded 300000 but that's nothing for her life. Judge Carlin would later retire in 1997, and Soon Doon was later known to live in San Fernando Valley, and being her 80s, Latasha's family never got the justice that they wanted and deserved. Right after the trial, their emotions spilled all over, and you can see the pain and hurt all over their faces. They felt Latasha's life was treated like she didn't matter, and with that sentence they gave soon, it is true. She shouldn't have got off that easy. 
Latasha's aunt, who has now died, started the Latasha Harley Justice Committee and never stopped fighting for justice for her. 2020, a short documentary was produced about the situation and some of Latasha's life called A Love Song for Latasha. It is on Netflix. Same park Latasha used to play at, honored her by naming the playground after her and also putting a mural of her in front. With all that being said, R.I.P. to Latasha. This will conclude this episode. If you haven't already, make sure you check out my previous episodes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.